Disney World continues to quietly raise the cost of visiting the parks using Lightning Lane. Here we go. Disney World is raising prices for theme park tickets in 2025, but hidden upcharges after uh, you move past the turnstiles are turning the Magic Kingdom into an already more expensive experience for families. Why? 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 Why would they do this? Good. <sighs> Going to... And I know I bag on Disney all the time, but I, I have fun at Disney World. I hate giving them my money, but I really want to go to Disney World here soon. It might be a while uh, just because of like budgetary reasons like this. Uh, budgetary reasons, moving, and then uh, we're looking to adopt a, a child here soon. So uh, we would like to take our child that we adopt to Disney World. So we'll have to save up. It's... Uh, it's going to be a little while. I'll just say that. But anyway, uh, and we I was I wanted to go before Christmas this year because I wanted to see Disney World at Christmas time, but uh with us moving and everything, it's just not in the not in the cards. We ended up going into debt to go to freaking Disney World and I'm not willing to do that. Not a great plan. Uh, going to the Walt Disney World Resort is going to cost you at least $10 more in 2025 for your base ticket. That's something we've known about for a while. What many families don't contemplate is that Disney has found increasingly genius ways to separate you from your hard-earned dollars once you're inside the parks. Uh, one of those methods, Lightning Lanes, just saw another increase uh, in pricing that goes towards making a Disney World vacation significantly more expensive. Starting October 21st, 2024, Disney World is increasing the cost of Lightning Lane passes for their premium attractions. Money, please! My money. Uh, for those rides, guests can pay a direct fee to Disney and receive the ability to largely skip the normal line. Unfortunately, that also means that these attractions aren't always accessible by normal guests uh, unless they win a lottery virtual queue pass on their uh, on their mobile app, which allows them to get a line skip for free. That's insane. Clearly, the idea. Uh, for Disney is to limit the number of free skips that are allowed in a day so that guests will attempt to win the lottery, most will lose, and then they will feel as if they they must purchase the pass in order for their family to get all the enjoyment they need out of the day. With tens of thousands, or excuse me, with thousands of dollars already paid for a Disney vacation, families will often shrug their shoulders and say, we're not coming back soon, so I guess we'll pay for the ride. The sentiment is a new one for guests of, of uh, Disney parks, though, uh, or which uh, were renowned for their tremendous bang for your or bang for buck going back decades. Yeah, the last time this is uh, Tiana's Bayou boat ride or whatever the F that looks like I think his name is Miko from uh, Pocahontas uh, right there, the, the little raccoon. But anyway. Uh, that's just concept art. We don't have actual pictures from the actual ride yet. Why? My God. Anyway. Yeah. So last time I went to Disney world was my honeymoon in 2016. We went to Orlando and spent a lot of time in Disney world. Back then you got four fast passes a day for free. If you download the app. Um, I didn't know that it was only four a day. I thought you got as many as you, wanted um whatever it like i didn't read the fine print but uh, we used all four every day there were some rides you couldn't like um the frozen ride was brand new at the time i'm telling you it was like a three hour wait at least to get on that ride i'm like i'm not spending three hours to wait to get on a ride it's just not happening hi kitty she said i'm not spending it either there you go but anyway Look at him in his wee little boots. That was back in 2016, and that was that was good. I was like, well, you still limit it. You uh, you don't do it for like you know big time cues and whatever. Um, it, uh, well, actually, I take that back. You could use it on um, uh, like new stuff, like the like the Elsa's boat ride or whatever the f they called it, the the frozen ride. Uh, but they limit that as well. They limit you personally to four a day and then they limit the, like each ride people can only use so many 
on it in a day. So uh, it was like a two week wait on fast passes. So people were like booking their fast pass on the frozen ride way in advance of being at Disney world, which I think is kind of a crock, but where you shouldn't be allowed to do that. But uh, that's, that's neither here nor there, but this, now you have to pay extra for the fast pass. So not only are the tickets way more expensive, I realize this is, you know, eight years later, but still I, like I said, it was between, it, it was between um, going to Disney World for a nice little Christmas vacation or and going into debt or, um, you know, moving uh, into a into a bigger, better house and, you know, uh, paying my bills. Uh, not good. Believe me, not good. Yeah, Disney's just like any chance they can, can get to squeeze more money out of you. And they're giving you less for it. Hey, pay more money. We're giving you fewer perks. And once you get here, it's going to cost you even more. Because I was adding up the cost of the plane ticket, uh, the cost of a hotel. Uh, this Last time I rented a car because I wanted to drive around to Orlando and, and uh, go to the beach and stuff like that. I wasn't factoring that in this time. Um. And then, uh, you know, the food, uh, factoring in the food and whatever. Uh, if you drive, you could, like, pack a cooler and, uh, like, eat out in the, you know, in the parking lot. Uh, if you if you have food out in the parking lot, you go, you know, pack a cooler with, with sandwiches or whatever, go eat out there. Uh, but then it's $20 a pop to park. It, they probably raised it since then. Uh, but it's like twenty dollars a to a day to park. It, it's just like it, they're gouging you every which way from Sunday, and it's insane. I I don't know who the hell I I have a coworker who just went with his whole family. They apparently they go every year. I'm like, how do you afford you, your wife, and multiple kids? Like she must he must make decent money um at our company, and his wife must be working and make decent money, and they must like penny pinch all year for for this one vacation that's all i can think of disney world discounts hotels in 2025 ahead of universal studios epic universe opening that's another big one universal is giving more bang for your buck they are opening more stuff it looks awesome i've reported on it uh it's opening i think it's uh opening in the spring or something like that or it's opening sometime next year um the epic universe it, it looks fantastic and yeah disney's got some cool stuff too but uh and it, oh and they're also adding on to harry potter world the you know the magical uh, the wizarding world of harry potter whatever they're adding like a third park to it in i guess that is part of the epic universe whatever anyway uh disney parks and experiences has announced significant discounts for their hotels in 2025 which could indicate soft expectations as they go head to head with a brand new universal epic universe opening in the same year beyond what has been announced at the disney parks blog uh it also appears that disney world annual pass holders get up to a 35 percent discount on hotels on select dates that i mean that is a uh, that is a deep discount, I will say. Uh, the official report says, starting today, you can plan your 2025 visit and save up to $200 per night with a three-night, two-day room and ticket package, or save up to 25% on room-only bookings at select Disney Resort hotels. Learn more at DisneyWorld.com forward slash offers. Plus, the new year's uh, the new year means more fun with the launch of a brand new water park perk for guests staying at the Disney Resorts Collection Hotel in 2025. Uh, staying at the Disney Resorts Hotel makes it convenient to maximize your memory making time, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, so they want you to stay close to Disney World, which I get it. Uh, they don't want you going to epic universe but epic universe looks better at this point and i think it's cheaper i i, I want to say it's cheaper uh because at this point it is so freaking expensive 
like I said, to go to, I know I've hammered at home, but like who the hell can afford that? Uh, and, and if you have to choose between the two, who's going to give you the biggest bang for your buck? Who's going to give you more, um, who's going to give you more uh, quality? You know, it, it's, it's not going to be, unfortunately, it's not going to be Disney. And especially when you're battling over who do I want to give my money to more? Disney's been pissing people off left and right for years at this point. And uh, Epic or Universal Studios is like, hey, we're here. They they've literally at the box office and now at the at the parks, they're reaping the rewards of Disney being a complete and colossal F up. And that's all 100 percent on Bob Chappick, uh, who used to be the president or CEO, whatever the F of um, of Disney, Bob Iger currently, and everybody they have in a position of power at Disney, it's all their fault. They took way too long to do even minor course corrections. I did a, a story not too long ago about uh, apparently Riley in uh, Inside Out 2, which, by the way, I watched the first, like, third of uh so far it's good um it's finally streaming on disney plus but anyway uh riley was supposed to be like have gay tendencies towards like her female idol instead of them just her looking up to this girl val and being like friendly with her and getting close with her in a friendly platonic way they wanted to make her gay because the internet said so like, good God. And apparently Disney came in and was like, yeah, don't do that. Like, no, make it make it not gay. Make them just friends. Make her uh, make Riley look up to Val. It's not a girlfriend girlfriend situation. Not everything has to be rainbow. Like you can just, you know, make it a, a normal effing friendship without having to kiss each other. Put a chicken in. Put a chicken in. Put a chicken in. Uh, excuse me. I believe I asked you to put a chicken in. All these people out here are freaking weirdos that uh, everybody's got to kiss. Everybody's got to be shipped. It's 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 insane. Even if it's a straight couple, I, not everybody has to be in a relationship. Not every like a boy, like two boys can be friends. Two girls can be friends. They're not they don't have to be gay together. That has messed up so many friendships. And it's why it's, it's a big reason why. um the, like you don't see a lot of healthy friendships nowadays and nobody knows how to date. Nobody knows how to talk to each other. The world is just such a, a twisted place, especially here in the West. But regardless of that, not trying to go on a tangent, but like they're just like a minor course correction. Hey, maybe don't make Riley gay. Hey, maybe don't shove agendas down like uh, any agenda down the throats of our customers, whatever but they're still raising prices. They're still taking away quality. They're still um, adding more garbage and more hoops that you got to jump through at the parks to, to do anything uh, gouging you for more money. Like they're, they're just milking their customers for every dime they have and they don't care. And uh, like, they're going to keep going down. I just reported in July, uh, July 4th, holiday is the holiday weekend is usually that whole week is packed out at Disney and they had the shortest freaking wait times in a long time and they can't sit there and blame weather oh it's too hot it's always hot and according to like if you compare it to weather from previous years it wasn't that much hotter actually actually it was it was about the same or slightly less hot than previous years but they're always trying to cope and come up with other excuses as to why they're failing. Like, course correct, kiss the ass of your customers. Bottom line, kiss the ass of your customers. Universal is just staying quiet and being awesome. And they're like, hey, come watch, uh, you know, more Minions. Come, you know, hey, we're coming out with a new Shrek. Hey, uh, we're opening up a new park. Hey, you know, not everybody's like super amped about the live action How to Train Your Dragon, but they're talking about it. And they're not being openly confrontational with people. Some people are a little upset that they're race swapping like the main, uh, I think Astrid, uh, the main female character. Whatever. I, you know, it is what it is. I don't really care that much. Hey, nobody cares. Nobody cares. 
it, they're not being openly confrontational. They're not like uh, getting political at all. They're not like shoving their nose into political issues like Disney did and really pissed off a huge swath of people, not just in Florida, but across the nation and the world. And uh, yeah, like I said, they're reaping the benefits and Disney is uh, being punished for it. And uh, I'm all here for it. Either you learn or you go down in flames, figuratively, one or, one or the other.